Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. This video is going to be a clean with me video. I first off begin by doing some laundry which is my bed sheets just to get them smelling nice and fresh. I use some unstoppables, I also use this fabric conditioner and a normal washing tablet and this just makes like this combination makes my washing smell really nice. By the way I apologise for the mould on my washing machine, I will be cleaning this very very soon and I will film it for a video. Next, I tackle the washing up. Usually I quite enjoy washing up. I find it therapeutic, but today there was a lot and I didn't enjoy it. Oh yeah, these are my cute new plants that I got from work, a red pepper and mini cucumbers. Straight away, I managed to spill water on me, so that was not great. And also there's soil on the bottom of my washing up bowl. So I do apologize for all these messes that are going on right now. But yeah, I decide to wash up and I don't get all of it done because I didn't wanna, like, you know, when the water gets quite dirty from washing up, I didn't wanna just carry on washing up in that water. I just wanted to make sure that it was clean. So I thought I will do this in two stages. So I actually saved some of the washing up for later on. I love my little pink gloves. So yeah, I just tackle all of the cutlery first. I always do cutlery first when it comes to cleaning and washing up because I just find them to be the most annoying things to clean. My last cleaning video that I filmed for this channel actually did quite well for views considering my other videos don't tend to get that many views so I thought you know what I'm going to film another one because I really enjoyed filming these videos and I also enjoy watching cleaning videos too so I'm more than happy to film them because I have to clean anyway so it's just taking the camera along with me but basically I haven't shown everything that I was cleaning today because to be honest with you filming and cleaning does take a lot longer than just cleaning by itself so I just showed a few of the tasks from today and then next week I might film another clean with me video where I will show different things so stick around and subscribe if you want to see more cleaning videos because I will be doing more but yeah this is the amount of washing up that I actually did manage to do and funnily enough that it's not everything I did leave some for later on I left a few things on the side there and on the other side now I'm going to use my method anti-back all-purpose cleaner in the scent peach blossom and I use that to wipe the surfaces I do this every single time I wash up I just think it's nice to make sure that all the surfaces you know are clear from bacteria and that kind of thing and it just kind of gives them a good wipe and gets rid of any crumbs and that kind of thing so I always do this after washing up <laughs> Now I am washing my makeup brushes. I do this once every two weeks. I think it's very important to wash your makeup brushes. They perform better when doing your makeup and also it means that they don't contain bacteria as much because obviously makeup brushes will contain loads of bacteria. So make sure you keep washing them otherwise you'll end up with spots. But I do take some of my method spray, pop it into a bowl with some warm water. I do that just because that will help to kill some of the bacteria. But I do mainly use fairy liquid to wash my makeup brushes because I just find it gets the makeup off a lot better and it just... I don't know, it, it makes my brushes feel really clean. They're not necessarily soft, but they're clean. I do get a towel out, which is what I lay the brushes on after I've washed them. A nice fluffy towel is always good. And I have this like little pink thing that I use 
to um, wash my brushes and it's great it literally is great I used to have to wash my brushes on my hands and yeah it, it does make your hands quite sore after a while but yeah this is your reminder to go and wash your makeup brushes honestly my motivation to wash them is because they are so much nicer to use when they're clean makeup applies so much nicer so go and do it <music> After washing my brushes I do also run them under cold water as well just to remove any excess fairy liquid because this can make them just not be very nice and yeah they kind of clog up with the fairy liquid so make sure to also wash them with water but this is all of my brushes. I do have more brushes that I use but these are the ones that I needed to clean for today and yeah I probably do need to replace some of these brushes. Oh yes I also washed my Real Technique sponge and I just popped it in the water that I used to clean my other brushes and then I used fairy liquid and unfortunately with beauty sponges like this they do kind of soak up the fairy liquid so it is you know quite a pain to have to wash off um, all of that fairy liquid out afterwards and it does you know sometimes I'll be doing my makeup and it feels like there is still fairy liquid inside the sponge but I just want to make sure that it's clean and that it doesn't have bacteria in it. Another tip if you use a beauty blender or sponge is to pop it on the radiator after using it because if you just keep it in your makeup bag or on the side and it's wet it will start to grow bacteria because bacteria grows in water so you want to make sure that you dry it pretty quickly so either put it out in the sun in a window or put it on the radiator for it to dry after you've used it today my radiators weren't on so I had to um, put it on this towel but I do turn on the heating a little bit later on to make sure that it does dry this is the dirty water after washing my brushes it's always satisfying to see that because it means I know I have actually cleaned properly here we are it is now time to take my laundry out this is kind of like the final stages of this video or of what I'm showing you of what I cleaned today and I just make sure I've got everything out the washing machine. I use this four mil fabric freshener, which is from Lidl. And I actually use that to spray it onto all of the clothes that I wash and all of my bed sheets and everything. And it just makes everything smell really, really extra nice. I would recommend. And yeah, I was trying to reach um, my bed sheets to put it on the radiator, um, which is behind the sofa. It's quite awkward, but yeah, I did manage it eventually. And yeah, I'm also popping on my... Um, pillowcases just to get them dry I did have to put the heating on for this which is quite annoying because it was quite warm today anyway but they wouldn't get dry in time because I was actually filming this in the evening but yeah that is it for today's clean with me video thanks for watching and I will see you for another video I'm not sure what it will be but there will be another cleaning video very soon thanks for watching and have a good day goodbye